What's good guys, it's your boy DB and today I'm being joined by my good buddy Gridden and we're going to be talking about the changes that have just happened to Challenge Rancor that I haven't actually had a chance to face yet and the rumours going around of a galactic legend Darth Maul. And speaking of legends... Today's video is sponsored by Monster Legends. Download it today through my link in the description box to get a bonus reward which I'll break down at the end. It's a free to play game on both Android and iOS with hundreds of monsters to collect and battle with. YouTuber MrBeast has his own monster as do many others. You can breed two monsters like Luz and Porky here to create an entirely new monster. We can then hatch it and feed it in order to develop it for battle in the game's many many PvP modes. This includes real time live fights with your friends, allowing you to put your best monsters up against theirs in a battle to see who's the strongest. It also has weekly events to discover and new adventures to play. So be sure to download the game through my link in the description box and claim your reward worth $30. This includes 50,000 food, the epic monster Noorian, and 300,000 gold. Okay then, so the challenge pit update came out last night i believe um i've not actually had a chance to to face this yet i'm a little bit nervous myself how, how how are you feeling with the with the changes that are coming up we're we're a little bit nervous too we were uh we were clearing it comfortably mm -hmm. um you know we had we're in in our alliance we had a couple of people a couple of members shift around got some more damage in there we were clearing it comfortably um, and then we did it for the first time with like only one or two mercs uh, this last raid and we're all really proud we made it through. Uh, but it was kind of a squeak, you know, there right. at the end of P4, we had a little bit of a zerg. And so <laughs> this, it does have me nervous um, if we're gonna be able to clear it now versus mm -hmm. you know before, obviously it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. But long term, long term, I will say this is the right change. Even if it delays us a little bit from doing the crayon core again, yeah. I will say long term, I, I would prefer this because now it does not force all, you know, 50 members to be on at the same time yes. and coordinating all of that garbage at the same time and sitting there just waiting for somebody to say, all right, post your damage, post your damage. You know, I, I hated that. I same. hated that. <laughs> and so this is going to alleviate that from both a member and officer position. And even if it delays a couple of guilds up back a little bit, I, I know mm -hmm. that sucks, you guys, but honestly, I think that it's the right move uh, moving Definitely. forward. This will age a lot better for the majority of people, honestly. So, I think so too. Um, a little I mean, nervous, but I'll ultimately like it. Yeah, I, I, I'm in total agreement because the, uh, although we were having those, you know, the great, great runs, you can do like 50%, you can do like 30% yeah. with this team and stuff like that. That was, that was all cool and all. But the problem was that, as you said, everyone has to be on at the same time. You need like a second device because you need like airplane mode on while you're, while you're holding <laughs> all your runs. Um, yep, and, yep. And, and all that kind of stuff. And then somebody will screw something up, they'll forget they haven't airplaned on the ninth attempt to get a decent score. That posts, panic ensues. And uh, yeah, we went through all of those and then problems. The raid's done. Okay. Yeah, exactly. And it like, kills the raid. I mean, if, I murked if in. One person accidentally posts that 20 damage, mm -hmm. raid's done. Yeah, exactly. Like, it was just and you're completely just like, okay, screwed. Yeah. I, I, I went and murked in one of the one of our lower guilds to help them out. Um, you know, because I've got Supreme Leader Kylo and stuff. I do pretty good damage, mm -hmm. and um, yeah. I, I went across to help them. And there was like two or three people that completely screwed up and posted. I mean, one of them posted like thirty two percent in phase three. We're like, oh. are you kidding? Oh, um, and yeah, like from that point, the, the raid's completely <sighs> screwed. Suddenly, yep. a ten percent run is a one percent run. Yep. You know, exactly. and. and so yeah, I I think this is something that absolutely had to be done. I hated that that whole mechanic they had before. I thought it was stupid. Um, it's just not feasible to have fifty people on or using airplane mode to get through something, particularly in the more casual guilds. Absolutely, it it, it created this massive rift of like mm -hmm. somebody who was like you know the optimistic person is like let's do the crank core, and you're like, yeah. <laughs> no, dude, it's not like that anymore. Like. It's not just like sending stuff. It's an interesting mechanic for, you know, a raid, this kind of like stacking aspect. You know, mm -hmm. it's an interesting thing for a raid. Um, but like that that was that was horrific. The doing, you know, the first couple of times I tried to do it on stream and oh my mm. goodness, dude, I would just like I just sat there and I was like, let me post my damn it. <laughs> it's just like, oh, this is driving me nuts. I have to sit here and do nothing. Yeah. You just sit there and wait and wait. So 
I'm looking forward to it again. Um, it is live. We have not done a raid in my guild just yet. I think we're doing one either tonight or tomorrow night. Okay. Um, so it will be interesting to see. Um, I'm curious because for for a lot of people, I mean, for it's the the dam or the the change says specifically for each two percent health loss, mm -hmm. the unit gains twenty percent offense and speed, which stacks on top of itself. Yeah. Prior to these changes, um, there were a lot of people in our guild, and a lot of people in general who you're slicker. There were people who, who were doing you know those twenty percent, the ten percent, yeah. twenty fifty, whatever percent. A lot of people are just like, hey, I got I got five percent with my slicker. I got seven percent, nine percent. That's still not like, I mean, to still do two percent is ultimately all you really need. That's you know, the goal, anyway, isn't 50 it? Fifty people, exactly. Yeah. If you have fifty people, just do your two percent, mm -hmm. and you're not restricted play. now, where everyone has to do it at the same time. So exactly. you know, you can knock so yours out, up. and three hours later, when your buddy gets off work, he can do his two. Exactly. So, so I'm like, oh, well, I'm down. Okay. Yeah, I, I think it's 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 long term, as you said, it's definitely going to help out those guilds that have no hope in hell of doing it right now anyway. And um, mm -hmm. and although it's going to be an adjustment period, I, I think it's I think it's needed. I, I can still see like 4% runs being doable. I think the 6% runs are po probably done now. Um, yeah. I, I think Rancors is going to be way too fast and powerful by that point. Good. But um, I, th I think like the R8 types can probably push out like the 4.5s and 5% runs and stuff like that still. Uh, but yeah, yeah, obviously obviously those 50s are, are long gone. Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. But, yeah, but I, I, I don't see it being a great problem as long as your, your guild are interested, building up some teams. And uh, yeah, everyone's pulling their 2% their in really, because now you can also run more than one team because it's exactly. not going to... It's not going to be that so horrible problem we had before. Exactly. People are all worried about like, oh, but now we don't have mercs that are going to do 20, 40, 50 mm percent -hmm. damage. Like, yeah, but now you individually can do your additional, you know, your two percent damage with yeah. whatever team and then send somebody else in. And instead of relying so heavily on X amount of slickers doing 10, mm -hmm. 20, 30, 50, whatever percent damage, a little you can use your little like uh, there's this little cheese Jedi team that I like using with Luke. It's Luke yeah. and some Jedi around him and they counter enough that it does roughly two to three percent damage yeah. and now that's now a more like viable thing for somebody to do instead of like everyone's like i need slicker that does 20 percent. it's like <laughs> you just need your two percent just do your two three percent send in some teams and you're good to go so exactly like that it. yeah and yep. uh i mean that the, the padme team of phase one will, will come back into play now because i think everyone yep. was using that right at the start for a good like three four percent and then as soon as the the uh the kylo teams kind of popped up everyone just dumped it and she had no purpose anymore um, yeah. And then you got, the, you got the Shack Troopers that I was regularly getting like four or five percent with anyway. Um, yeah. So I'd be able to squeeze in two, two and a half, three, hopefully still in, uh, in, in like phase two or three. So th there's other teams that can actually be used again. It's going to allow us to actually access the rest of our roster, which was kind of what I was hoping to do in the first place. Um, and then it yeah. just turned into GLs or nothing. Yeah, but, um, that yeah. huge spike in damage is going to yeah. get flattened into a lot more teams just doing yeah. a couple of percent. Which I think helps the, the smaller guilds in the long run because a lot of them don't have the GL access, but they likely yeah. have built up other teams to get the likes of you know General Skywalker and, and Malak and stuff along the way anyway. Yep. So yeah, yep, I, exactly. I, I, um, overall, I think it, I think it's a good thing for the game. You in agreement? A hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. It, it needed to happen. That was that was some of the most frustrating stuff I've <laughs> ever ever had to be a part of. Just sitting it was. there, it just like this was. is not enjoyable. Um, yeah. please change something anything yeah. <laughs> and, it was, it was, and then you get a couple of like terrible rewards and you're like oh my <laughs> yeah, god that, nothing <laughs> you're just like <laughs> yeah, i i had i had a, a a fair few tantrums i'm sure the the members of aok can attest to <laughs> or, or, or when it when it came to airplane modes or or when somebody would miss them i in fact forgot to put it back on on about my 15th run at something trying to get a good score so um I, i've been one of the people that accidentally posted like 12 percent once oh, and fun. No, it's, it's yeah. it was horrific. I'm so glad that's going to be a thing of the past. So yeah, good, yep. good stuff as far as I'm concerned. Yep, hundred percent agreed. The, the the other the other big topic right now. I don't know if you if you saw it. I, I saw it like instantly because <laughs> I happened to go oh, on. Yeah. I happened to go on to uh, to like to wrap up my my dailies and stuff just as the update went out, and the the game art has changed to Maul, and Reddit has taken this. And it it's running it's running the full one thousand meters with this. It's uh, they're adamant it's Galactic Legend more that's on its way because obviously we do have Bo Katan that's dropping today. I yep. believe it is. 
Um, obviously, the Mandalorians yes, yep. have a, a strong connection to more. For those of you that watch the, the likes of the Clone Wars series, um, what do you think? Is it Galactic Legend Mall? Is it just a rework? Is it a legendary mall? Is it what? What do you reckon? If I, I, I would, given our time frame, we're mm -hmm. coming up to needing another Galactic Legend. Um, but I mean. It's just, it's so, I, I've, I've talked about this before that it, it feels like CG's in kind of a weird spot with their next Galactic Legends. It's like, mm -hmm. how do you make a Galactic Legend when right now the Galactic Legends that we have are Emperor Palpatine or, you know, Sith Eternal Emperor, yeah. uh, Jedi Master Luke, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, Rey, like those are the likes of our Galactic Legends. It's like, yeah. is Darth Maul on that same level and it's like eh, ultimately no and then what is he going to be a galactic legend for sith and well, no i mean we already have that taken care of yes. basically on a few fronts it's like we don't need we don't need that like i i i don't think he's going to be the galactic legend mm -hmm. um i could see him maybe being a legendary though because we need yeah. a better mall we just oh do. definitely he's never um, really been that great no he had his brief moment in the meta when the Zeta first came out, and that's oh the Dodge Meta, they remind me. <laughs> Do not remind me of that. <laughs> Some PTSD flashbacks over here. Excuse me yeah. for a second while I have a panic attack. Um, so I don't think he's like Galactic Legend worthy is the thing. Mm. But at this point, we're in need of the next batch of Galactic Legend. So it could be. I feel like it'd be a little bit of a stretch. Um, but I, I think it's at least a good sign that maybe another version of Maul is coming. Uh, yeah. Clone Wars Season 7 was hugely positively received. If you haven't seen it, yeah, it was good. Go watch it. So good. Um, and then we saw so much more of Maul, which I think we, you know, we needed. And that could push him to being potentially a legendary. And then we saw him at the end of Solo, uh, the movie there. And all those things are connecting into him being potentially kind of this sort of like underworld sort of mall type of thing more yeah, of like less of a type sith thing. yes mm -hmm. exactly more of the cr the crime lord mall um maybe he has some uh some mandalorian synergy we're going towards that route of here's a whole bunch of mandalorians he yeah. could have some mandalorian synergy he's not one himself yeah, but he maybe he has a leadership throne so yeah. yeah so i mean he very well could be um so maybe galactic legend maybe legendary i think at least and i'm hoping for at least a new version so we can use mm -hmm. Maul in a fun, good way because he is just so bad. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean the the Sith Eternal Emperor, whatever he's called, the he, he's in the requirements, I believe, there to, to to be relict. And I remember when I was looking through, and I was like, oh, do I really want to build him up? He's so mediocre. Um, so even his bad. ship is like long gone in relevance. I mean, it used to be pretty useful back in the like the the days of the 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 Empire metas and stuff in fleet, but. Um, yeah. he, he's, he's not even needed there anymore um, so yeah I, I would definitely welcome a, a second character I don't actually think it'll be a galactic legend um, yeah. I, I, I again I, I think the bar has been set so high that all I could really think of is like duplicates of other major characters or Master Kenobi fallen Anakin type thing I, I don't see many others like yeah. up at that caliber I, I, I could see him being like the likes of a, a hero's journey type thing a, absolute yep. max maybe an epic confrontation but I don't think yep. he'll actually be I don't think he'd be that big of a, a thing I could see it being like a Mandalorian yeah. faction unlock um, for and um, probably you know either the five or seven star unlock route for him um, yeah. because obviously Bo-Katan and him they, they, they had some beef over over that dark saber and yeah. uh and over the over the throne itself so um i can see her being a, a key aspect to this yes everyone's gonna be having to panic farm no doubt um i'm, I'm hoping we get more of of her night owls actual faction yes in um, general we just need more mandalorians I yeah I, i'm hoping with the, the artwork for maul here that gives us at least me personally that gives that gives you the idea of what's coming next right yeah. we had the mandalorian on the artwork mm -hmm. for a while um and then we got a whole bunch of mandalorian content yeah. With Maul being on the artwork, I would, I mean, I would be extremely surprised if that doesn't give us an idea of where the game is headed, right? So yeah. I'm, we're bound to see a new version of, of Maul. I feel like that's safe to say. Yeah. Um, I would love to see a season seven sort of era version of Ahsoka Tano. Um, she's just very different from the two versions that we have of Padawan mm -hmm. Tano. I would love if they renamed Ahsoka Tano to Padawan Tano. Yeah. Um, and I, then I changed this to Ahsoka Tano. Yeah. um 
Give us another version of Ahsoka Tano. Add in a whole bunch of Night Owl Mandalorians. Add in just a bunch of Mandalorians. Mandalorian Ranger, Mandalorian Assault, Mandalorian Heavy. I don't care. Just give us more Mandalorians. Um, yeah. They're hugely, widely you know, appreciated and, and loved faction. They're really cool. They have the awesome armor. They're yeah, all exactly. Bad, right. uh, you know, super cool and stuff. And uh, I'd love to see more of that. So this at least gives us something of where the game is headed, I think. Yeah. It could be, and you touched on it, talking about maybe some type of you know like fallen anakin is a tough one because technically fallen anakin was only there for like the three seconds from when he cut off mace <laughs> yeah. his arm and then you know darth sidious is like i from here on you're known as lord vader rise my apprentice like he was yeah. only fallen anakin for like three milliseconds um but it could be we just get a flat out obi-wan kenobi and then maybe lord vader instead yeah, yeah um, I mean, whatever you want to call him that yeah could, whatever they want to call him. basically pre-suit uncooked vader um I, I i think his he, he's probably the most like warranted uncooked darth vader <laughs> <laughs> non-crispy v- variety um he's uh and he, he would he would fit really nicely for the likes of a an, an empire based because that that was his thing that he yes. was like scream this is my new empire yes. so he's that he could he, be the empire galactic legend yeah and... I, I i think that would be the perfect fit for that rather than because uh, obviously yes he's a sith but then you know jedi knight luke is a rebel and we haven't got that they're, they're being a little bit exactly. more picky with their tags to prevent Obi-Wan, kind of awkward synergies obi-wan in there could be more about he could be the galactic republic one. that's less, what i less think jedi yeah but more galactic republic that would fit i think yeah. that would fit pretty well yeah he was a defender of the republic so i think they would they would give him that role and they would give anakin the empire role because that was literally the tear is the empire yeah. taking over is the republic keeping control um yeah. and yeah so I, I i can see those being the roles for those two um and I, I just don't see i don't see really who else i mean mace is a possible um don't say that too loud ram, I, I, ram prob- his ears are probably twitching somewhere right now and uh but yeah I, th- it's really hard to think of other dark side ones i'd say maybe daft tyrannus um that would be interesting i could yeah. see that That'd yeah be He's probably the only other dark side one I could see accompanying in into the into those pairs, but uh, yeah, more for me doesn't really hit it, and I don't really. I as much as I love Ahsoka, I don't really think season seven Ahsoka would be Galactic yeah. Legend worthy. I, yes, a legendary That's... type thing, but Galactic yeah. Legend worthy. I, I I just don't really see Maul or or Ahsoka there personally. Agreed. I'd agree with that 100. percent but that about wraps up the video then I'm, um, I'm i'm excited to see what happens with this um it seems that is the direction the game is going now as you as you touched on before where when when the artwork changes that's usually where the game goes we had it with mandalorian we had it with kylo in the past um yeah. and, and and so on so it does seem we're, we're going that route now towards the season seven stuff and uh and more more mandalorian type drama and i'm excited for it so Absolutely. feel free to give your, your channel a plug as always buddy i love working with you as you know Thank you so much. It's it's an immense pleasure. I feel like I say it every single time. So sorry if I know you with it, but dude, I've <laughs> I, I I've looked up to and still look up to your channel a a ton. I appreciate every Means time that I get to be on here and hang out with you guys. You can find me anywhere. Just Gridden. I'm on Twitch. I'm on YouTube. Uh, Gridden WWL on YouTube. Uh, Gridden on Twitch. I stream pretty much every single day. I'd love to have any of you guys over there. It's my absolute pleasure to work with DB and anyone that's on his channel is welcome there as well so as always thanks for having me on man i appreciate it you're welcome man thank you very much for joining me and that's it for the video guys be sure to like and subscribe on both of our channels follow us on on twitch as well and until next time we out of here